folks, Craig here, and today we're going to be taking a look at the limited edition of Sega Gaga for the Dreamcast. This was released in 2001, one of the last games to be released for the Dreamcast, certainly one of the last games to be published by Sega for the Dreamcast. As a sort of tongue-in-cheek swan song for the Dreamcast, in this game you play as a boy who's hired by Sega to save their sinking console games division uh, in the game. Sega only has 3% of the market, and they need to get back on top. It plays a bit like an RPG or a simulation, and it has all kinds of you know goofy references to Sega's past. Now, the game was only released in Japan, so the game is obviously in Japanese. Now, the limited edition box is very nice, uh, mainly because it's very simple. It's actually plain white except for the top here, which has the Sega Gaga logo, S-G-G-G. -G -G. And then the front here, which has some Japanese text here, and then the logo again over here. Otherwise, the box is it's completely blank. Very nice, very simple. We'll open it right up. And on top, we have a Sega Gaga t-shirt, size large. And uh, it's still sealed. Uh, it looks like there's some there's something on the back. You can sort of see something through the t-shirt. I don't know what it is because I'm not going to open the t-shirt. Uh, but that's pretty nice. And then here we have the game, which comes in a in a case that's sort of one and a half times as thick as a standard Amore case. We'll open this up. And there's the disc there. Again, very simple. Simplicity seems to be the key here. And this, I looked this over. I think this is some sort of a survey or questionnaire or something. Let's put that over there. Case is really weird. It's got another. It's got a spot for another disc here. And then the instruction booklet is the size of a jewel case. So that's weird. We'll take a look at this. This is really nice. This is in full color. And of course the text is all in Japanese and there's actually not a lot of pictures either not much to look at here we have a Sega Gaga organizer which is also still sealed I don't intend to open it but this is actually really really nice uh, I, I'm pretty sure this is just like pleather you know plastic leather here you have the Sega Gaga logo trimmed in gold right here there's a button fastener metal rings and the pages appear to be colored. And I know it sounds like I'm grasping at straws to make this sound quality, but I mean, it is quality. Think of the sort of things we get in special editions nowadays. We get, we get digital stuff. We don't even get physical stuff half the time anymore. So this is, this is really nice. And finally, in this box here, we have probably the best part of the entire set. Well, aside from the game itself. Another simple white box with the Sega Gaga logo. And inside, there's a wooden box with the logo sort of, I don't know, burned into the wood. I'll open this up. And we have pins of uh, Sega consoles. We have here the Sega Mark III, which is what the Master System is called in Japan. We have the Mega Drive, which is known as the Genesis here in North America. The Game Gear, the Saturn, the Dreamcast, and the Sega Gaga logo. I'm actually kind of surprised they included the Sega Gaga logo as opposed to something for the SG-1000, uh, which was actually Sega's first console. Um, it was released in Japan and uh, I believe Australia, maybe a few European countries, never here in North America. But that's, that's actually kind of surprising they didn't include that at all. But these are really, really nice. There you have it, folks, the limited edition of Sega Gaga on the Dreamcast. Uh, this does not pop up on eBay very often. Uh, but I would expect to pay between 120 and 150 for this set. Now, if you're a huge fan of Sega, or a huge fan of the Dreamcast, or just like getting these sort of these these really you know these sort of rare crown jewels for video games, I definitely recommend Sega Gaga. Um, but the price may be a bit prohibitive for other folks. Uh, but this is a really awesome set. I like this a lot, and it's a and it's a really nice send off for the Dreamcast. Thanks for watching, folks. I know there are probably plenty of Sega Gaga videos on YouTube. Thanks for watching mine and humoring me. And until next time, you guys take it easy.